Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at an awesome accessory for our phone that actually allows us to connect it to a larger screen, be it a TV or a monitor. And this actually works with Android phones that support video over USB Type-C and even the new iPhone 15s up to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Basically, what this is going to allow us to do is turn our Android phone or our iPhone into a desktop PC or even a gaming console if you want to play games on. That's my main use case scenario for something like this. And this accessory has actually been on the market for a little while. It's from Motorola, known as the Ready for Dock. Motorola does have their own desktop interface built into their higher-end Moto phones, and it's known as Ready for. And they made this specifically for that, but it does support other USB Type-C capable devices. It's got some pretty cool features built in, like an automatic cooling fan. We also have this adjustable mounting system here, so it can fit basically any phone on the market in here. Cooling fan, round back, USB Type-C out. And the USB Type-C input here for our phone is adjustable, so you can actually use a pretty large case with your iPhone or your Android device and still use this dock. Unfortunately, this doesn't have an HDMI port, so in order to get this connected to a larger display, your display will either need to support USB Type-C video in, or you'll need a USB Type-C to HDMI adapter. This also works vertically or horizontal, and uh, the first device we're going to be testing here is the Samsung Galaxy S23. Now, these are some of my favorite Android devices, mainly because we do have Samsung DeX built in. And in order to get this connected, I just put it right in the dock. I've got a USB Type-C monitor here, and we've got Samsung DeX up and running. So I've got this phone set up so it automatically goes to DeX on an external display. And if you're not familiar with DeX, I mean, as you can see, we've got a desktop style Android operating system here. Very well suited for a mouse and keyboard. I've got a mouse and keyboard connected to Bluetooth on this S23. And uh, we can also use, you know, just regular Android on our phone itself. So we could actually run apps on the phone screen and we can run them on the external display. Again, this does work in the horizontal position magnetically attaches to the mount we have here. And uh, that cooling fan will automatically come on and blow air over the back of your device. Now it's not always on and it's really not that loud. It does move a little bit of air across your device to kind of keep it nice and cool. And I'm not exactly sure if it's based on heat that your phone's putting out or current that your phone's pulling from the dock itself. Either way, it does work out really well. And uh, real quick, I just wanted to give you a little demo here. We've got a 4K 60 HDR video on the external display. And we can go right in here and start playing Minecraft or you get some work done. You can answer calls. You can do some video chatting on the phone itself where you've got the external monitor going with Samsung DeX. And of course, with DeX, we do have multi-window support. It's got a snap feature built in. We can run a ton of apps at the same time on the external display and the phone screen itself. So I've just got Google Play up and running here. I've also got a calculator. You can do some document editing, some photo editing, have a video playing in the background. It's actually a really awesome little setup for these Samsung Galaxy S devices. But one of the main reasons I wanted to pick this up was actually for the new iPhone 15 Pro Max. So now that we've got USB Type-C on these new iPhones, we do have video out. We don't need a crazy adapter. If your monitor already supports a USB Type-C video in, you can plug your iPhone right in. And again, this dock does have enough adjustability to add a case to your phone and still slot it right down into the mount itself. So you don't need to take your case off or anything like that. But with iOS, when it comes to the main interface here, we're going to be in vertical mode. As you can see here, it looks just like our phone. We don't have to worry about any kind of latency because we are wired. But as soon as we start up an application or a game that does landscape mode on our external display, it'll automatically go over there for us. So now we've got a lot more room to work with. And I personally use this for gaming with the iPhone. And you know, since Apple announced that we are getting console games for the iPhone itself, like Resident Evil Village, we're also getting uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage, Resident Evil 4. I think something like this would be pretty cool to have a nice little setup with a larger screen so we can actually play our game like we would on a real console. The game we have on screen right now is Shredder's Revenge and it really doesn't take a lot to run so let's move over to something that takes a bit more power. We've got Call of Duty Mobile and iOS has actually had some really good controller support for a long time. Even iPad OS, all of the Apple Arcade games will work with the controller. 
Obviously, we've got Call of Duty Mobile running with an Xbox controller here. I'm just connected to my phone over Bluetooth, and this is a pretty awesome little experience. We're at very high settings right now. I've got the frame rate set to very high, and I think we can only go up to 60 hertz out of uh, USB Type-C. Still, looks really good on this external display and plays just fine. But of course, there are some harder games to run, especially when it comes to lower end Android devices, and that's where the uh, iPhone itself really comes into play, like Genshin Impact. Plus, with the iOS version of Genshin Impact, we do have real controller support. We don't need to use any kind of third party application. And in my experience, it's just a better optimized game for iOS. The developers of the game itself do spend a lot more time because, you know, with the in-app purchases, I guess they are making more on Apple. We're at 60 FPS, very high settings. Every once in a while, got a stutter here and there, and that's kind of normal. I think it's shader cache, but this is one of those games I really do like playing on iOS, be it on the iPad or an iPhone, just because it's really smooth. And again, we've got that native controller support. So yeah, obviously, this uh, dock here does work with the iPhone 15. I've got the Pro Max here, but it'll also work with the other iPhone 15s. As long as you've got USB Type-C on that device, it will work. And the final device I wanted to show off here was the Red Magic 8 Pro. This is a very powerful gaming phone. We've got the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. This one has 16 gigabytes of RAM, I believe. It also has its own built-in cooling fan. So it's got a cooling system. We can run this, you know, all day at those maximum clocks. It's got a desktop mode built in. We could also mirror the screen if we want to. But my favorite thing about this phone connecting it to an external display is what they call console mode. So we could still use the phone like it is. You can make a call, you can run a video on there, you can run another game if you want to. But over on the larger display, we've got kind of all of our games laid out. We can add new games, we can add new applications, and we can start playing directly from here. So we'll just start up Asphalt Legends real quick. And uh, down in the lower left hand corner, we've actually got a little bit of tuning that we can do. We can set this up in rise mode, which is going to take our clocks on the GPU and CPU up pretty high here to get the best performance out of it. And the games run amazingly on the Red Magic 8 Pro, even in console mode or desktop mode, whatever you want to call it. They've also added keyboard mapping directly in console mode and gamepad mapping. So we can actually map a controller to Genshin Impact without using another third party application. It's already built into here. But my favorite thing to do with this device connected to an external display is play some of my favorite emulated games. Here's uh, the Dolphin Emulator. We've got one of my favorite fighting games. This is Tatsunoko versus Capcom for Wii running at full speed. I am upscaled the 720p from the emulator itself and it runs great. Got that Xbox controller connected over Bluetooth to the phone itself, and uh, we can play basically anything we want here. This will do up to Switch emulation with that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Now there are some higher end Switch games that don't run so well due to, you know, being really early for Switch emulation on Android, but it's coming along really well, and this phone does a great job. So overall, the Ready4 Dock is actually a really cool accessory. Should have got a hold of one a while ago. This has been on the market for a little while. Great for bringing that small screen to a larger display. And, uh, you know, in order for this to work, your phone will need to support USB Type-C video out. Not all Android devices support it, but there are Motorola devices, Lenovo devices. I think uh, some of the OnePlus devices support video out. Samsung Galaxy S line from the S8 on up to the S23, and I'm sure even the S24 or whatever they're going to call it is going to support it. And of course, there's a lot of Android gaming phones on the market that will also work with this. And now we've even got support for the iPhone 15. And keep in mind, if your monitor doesn't support USB Type-C video in, you can always pick up a cheap adapter. Something like this, but unfortunately these don't have power inputs. You could always go with a cable that does support, you know, power in along with USB Type-C to HDMI. Or if you're in the market for another display, I've actually seen some cheaper USB Type-C enabled monitors over on Amazon. So 95 bucks, $5 coupon here, 24 inch, 100 hertz, does support USB Type-C video in. I think something like this would come in really handy, especially if you have several devices that support video over USB Type-C. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really appreciate you watching. I figured this was a cool enough accessory to make a quick video on, especially if you're into using Samsung DeX or if you've got an Android device that supports video over USB Type-C, or if you want to game on a big screen with your iPhone, this would definitely work out.
If you're interested in learning a little more, I'll leave some links to the dock in the description below, along with a few other accessories that I personally use with my devices like this. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you've got any questions, let me know down below. And like always, thanks for watching.